And we're back. My arm's gone. If waking up. Five seconds late. <laughs> demons will have torn you apart. Yeah, no the shit. great Odin spared your life, but left you broken. Why but did you do my hands? Because I fixed you. No, you know what? I made you better. Okay. <sighs> Remarkable, isn't it? You're what? insane. No, 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 you stay down. The anesthetics haven't left your system yet. Oh, my head. Okay, oh, let's oh. see here. Speech should be fine. I repaired the tissue. Mm. Yeah, I gave the bone structure a checkup as well. Mm. How does it feel? Jesus. feeling you feel? When it's bonding to you. Huh. I know. I have a few of my own. <laughs> You're insane, mate. Anyway, I have much to prepare. You rest for now. I could go a choice. That was a motherfucking cut. Henrik, look at her. It's Alice. The huh? injuries she suffered and survived. She's not human. That doesn't mean she's not. Who are you? <coughs> my heart. My, my voice. She even sounds like. Yes. Yes. Uh, I fixed your voice. And your arm. Who are you? What's I'm, going on? I'm Henrik Anderson, the CEO of Borkorp. Okay. The voice you're hearing is my wife, Sarah. <laughs> she's, uh, she's up on the surface, Ralph. Unfortunately. You and I are stuck down here. Okay. The things happening down there are happening up here as well. And it's getting worse by the minute. What did you do to me? I brought you back from Helheim. Henrik, calm down. Helheim? The journey to save her almost killed you. I don't want to lose you. Since she already has the prosthetic installed, tell her about it. Fine. Your new arm holds great power. Charged by Atrium, it can channel a magnificent force. It's based upon ancient knowledge uncovered by my wife. And brought into fruition okay. by Henrik. The arm is called Jerngeber. You brought uh, a hand with you. Use the Jerngeber to extract the RFID from it. You'll gain access to all doors with that level of security clearance. Okay. Now try it. Scan the hand on the table and then use it downstairs on the lock. I know this is a lot to ask, but we're not taking this lightly. Please. I'll tell you more as you go. Okay. We're gonna ruin. And I'm going to save the game. <laughs> Where on earth am I? Thank you, Dr. Frankenstein. You made my tits bigger, though. Huh. Nice. Nice. It's the puppy! Huh? The earthquakes are getting far too frequent. The roots are spreading faster. Please hurry. I'll show you all the things you need to know. Okay. A root? It Jesus Christ. Hacking me. What's that? Okie dokie. Can you hear me? Yep. Yes. Good. You can hear me as long as our radio can reach your Bifrost system. Okay. Ready? Go deeper into the creepy place. Ahead of you is your first obstacle. A service hatch that can usually only be opened from the inside, unless you're an engineer. However, Jan Greiber can open the tunnels in an unconventional way. But first, you need power. You should find an atrium upgrade in a nearby room. Atrium upgrade. Here? Hey. <clears throat> That right there is a small atrium cell that can power the arm. 
Yes. Insert it in the arm, get back to the service hatch, and fire a burst at it to fry the lock circuits. And don't forget to refill your power with the power station on the wall before you move on. Okay. Ah, oh, so what do I do? Just aim at it. Oh shit! Okay. And E is a recharger. Okay. You have to only click it. Or down for a bigger burst. Okay. If you collect enough upgrades for Jan Graper, you can activate the weapon inside it. Hmm. I want that weapon, cause I don't like to deal with the puppy. Ahead and above you, there's another obstacle you can overcome with Jan Graper. Use your sight to find the ladder's control panel. Aim at it, and fire a directed burst to lower the ladder. Nice. Sweet. That's cool. Since Jan Graper is relying on atrium power cells, your life might be depending on not running out. There is another, larger power cell that you can carry with you at all times. Collect the power cells. Anytime you want to use them, activate your Bifrost personal display system for instructions and to keep track of how many you've collected. Okay. Good to know. Ugh. Sound like wearing a raincoat. Ahead of you, you will find a door that is locked with an RFID signature you don't have. Hmm. But now, that won't be a problem for you. It's the same as the earlier electronics, but the mechanics of the door needs a little finesse. Use your sight to see the mechanics inside the door and time the burst to get through. Nice. Ooh, that means. If I go backwards, I mean I'll be able to get into that door. <laughs> I like it. I like it a lot. Okay. Nice, I mean. That's a work. Always be like this, you know. Only certain areas can do it, type of thing. I don't see anything in there. Oh. Hello, floating rock of doom. Oh, that's a collectible. Nice. That's not free. Must look like something on the way, I don't know. We go. Okay, well, everything seems to be working again. Where were we? Right. Uh, our world, Midgard, is sharing its existence with eight other worlds that are all connected by something known in the legends as Yggdrasil, the world tree. When we started researching the travel between worlds, we used technology to tap into a magical artifact known in the legends as the Absolute, controller of the roots of Yggdrasil. This made it possible for us to safely travel to other worlds. Then, something came through one of the roots. The mm. spirit. It took control of the Absolov and our systems, causing an emergency override. The facility was completely sealed, and the roots started spreading. We need to reverse this by collecting the nine artifact keys, originally made to control the artifact and the roots it brings forth. Henrik, the 
Marcus traveled too much unprotected. He almost died when he saved you and wouldn't survive going through another route. You are literally our only hope of stopping this. Without those keys, the roots and nightmares will take over our world. The fire giants will... Sarah. Wait, Henrik, I'm losing connection again. Sarah? Jesus Christ. Listen, we know the location of one of the keys. Ahead of you is a route that will take you to Niflheim, the ice world. Every moment the route spreads further you. into Midgard, so find the key and come back here as soon as possible. Please hurry. The earth is Midgard, yes. Yoink, yoink. Look, hello. No, oh, I can't get through that door. Yeah, as I thought. Okay, into the Grinch's bum hole. Experience anal. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Yep. Message for Dr. Henrik Anderson, Dr. Brian Roberts, Nivelheim Operations Supervisor. Minor progress report on Niflheim Outpost N502. Construction is moving along according to schedule. Procedures after the complete destruction of N498 are implemented and seems to be working. The building is strictly held to crevices. The amount of noise is held to a minimum and outposts are working 24-7 to avoid the attention of the natives. The However, natives? the morale is very strained after the 48 casualties at N498. <laughs> Worst of all are the sounds of the natives. It travels for miles through the infinite night and fog in this dead landscape. Jeez. It just kills you to the core. This my direction, where am I going? This way. That sound. Run for it. Nope. He says no. Holy hell. Okay. Um, <clears throat> he's not a little guy. <laughs> okay. Good to know. Good to know. Yep. Mm-hmm. Good to know. Shoot on what to run away. What the actual fuck? Oh 
Holy hell. Well, that's terrifying. Of course, we're following in the damn thing. was loud. takes me over there. Hello, you! Go away, you! Charge my arm. Anyone home? Probably not. Open up all these. Probably a fine more power cells. Haha! <laughs> Knew it! Woohoo, okay. Going dunster diving now, folks. Okay, what you got for me? Nothing. Nothing. Okay! Hey, buddy! The freaking hell? <laughs> hey, that's a key. Yep, 
Wrecking. Yep. Crack. Two access. Give you more. Guess there's no lockers in here. No. Let's get the hell out of here. Save the game. Where everything else goes to hell. Holy crap! Shit myself. Okay, that's all good. That noise just keeps reminding me of that goddamn puppy. Not a good one. Never ever say it. <laughs> that loud? God damn. Okay. This. Morning! Ooh, he's got. Why does that freeze everything? Real badly, I guess. So I'm gonna hop down in my shit. Run, 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 run. Get me the hell out of here. Ugh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think I was looking back. <laughs> yep. Later. I'm gonna have my third date with the Grinch's ring on. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> that was terrifying. Oh my god. By the cart. Is that you? No, oh, Santa. Oh, yeah. You made it back alive. As, as soon as we lost connection, I thought. I can see you on a camera feed. Ahead of you, in Absolov Research. There's an elevator that you can take to me on floor B1. I've marked the elevator so you can find it with your sight. There's mm. probably a lot of things to explore in Absolom Research, but don't stay for too long. And don't insert the key into the tablet until I've analyzed it. Please hurry. Never and curious scans. 
Okay. Looking that way. There's cupboards. Abuse. I think I'm done in this area now. Really? Happy? He's not in here. Mythology research, note four, with Dr. Henrik Anderson and my lovely wife. <laughs> Dr. Sarah Anderson. The power of the hammer of the god is on a whole other level than anything discovered before. The hammer is powering the entire facility and is more stable than anything else of this strength. Even the power cells charged with it has a huge amount of power. We've decided to call the power Atrium, after the creator of the hammer. And not only does Atrium have the attributes described by Henrik, it also has a lot of magical potential. I, uh, I don't know how to describe the phenomena scientifically, but Atrium has a terrifying effect on certain creatures from the myth that are affiliated with darkness. When it was wielded by Thor, it must have had an enormous destructive capacity. No wonder the gods are described as feared by everyone in the Nine Realms. Messed up. Why oh, does have to be a dog? Shit my pants! What's that? Mythology research, note 5. There are many gods from the myths which seem to have ties to the things we are retrieving from the other worlds. We have items from Odin, the Allfather, yeah. and the son Thor, yeah. the god of lightning. We have also found proof of the existence of the immortal Baldur and Freya, the goddess of fertility. Yeah. And we have some leads on Hel, the goddess of death. Mimir, the keeper of the Well of Wisdom, and and Loki, the god of mischief. Your love that Loki. one worries me a bit. Okay. Make any more noise? <laughs> ha! 
Why? <laughs> There's some skulls missing. Mythology research, note three. The information me and Henrik has unearthed is just as astounding as mentioned in the previous notes made by Henrik. <laughs> One thing I just had to note was a story depicting an enormous wall built to protect Asgard from the outside world. Hmm. The story talks of the gods making a wager with a giant. The wager was that if the giant could finish the wall within a set amount of time, he could marry the goddess Freya. Hmm. However, when the giant was almost finished, the gods cheated. And to add insult to injury, Thor crushed the giant's head with his hammer. This wall that is described mm. in the Younger Edda doesn't seem to be a wall at all. It's a statue capable of shutting out the roots of Yggdrasil and opening them to the one in control of it. Okay. I fear that this statue is exactly what we have here in the facility. The Absolof. That's, that's the name of the game. <laughs> I knew it could have been answered properly. Okay, so... You dead over there. Hey, Mary. Okay. Where am I meant to go? Okay. This way, I guess. Go down and have a look. See. Hello. I'm going to bring you first. The pass you need. A lot. You're number four. <laughs> wow, really mess with you, doesn't it? That's West Wing. Five? Jesus Christ. Five again. You're not getting out there any time soon. Why is there so much blood there? Blood everywhere. Jesus. Okay. Five again. Nope. I'm really going to use you. I think I have you. Again, somewhere. And on that note, I'm gonna end this episode here. See you in the next video again, guys, because holy hell, this is getting scary! Can't wait to get into the next episode. Yep. Bye.